Hello guys, this is Cypher Deck, and we are back, what's the, where, it's the bullet thing. Why are we back at the bullet thing? Well, I tell you, there was a guy, I think it's a guy, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, named Lil Rads, um, on Reddit, who said, well, why don't you try to use a warhead as the primer? And so I decided, why not? I think that's a fantastic idea. So this is what I'll come up with. By the way, I hope you like the cleanliness of the cutaway this time. I actually attached them so that they would move over as one one thing. So here it is. Here is the thing that I've designed. And really the way I was doing it before was probably not the best way anyway so you would uh, hit this and push forward and then push on that and it really is a very tedious process so well this this here's my question is if I have these warheads where they're at and you have an idea that they they kill around a three to five uh, three by three or five by five I think it is um, pretty easy. Will we be able to um, blow all of these up within this chamber here without d damaging it? Because that's uh, w the only thing we want to damage is maybe this part right here. We don't really want to damage any of this too much. We want it to be like a real bullet so that once we uh, load it into the chamber, fire, pull the bolt back, and then uh, unload it, that this is the only part that's damaged, the primer. So, I I'm ready to test this thing. I to be honest, I'm very excited about this whole idea. Um, one thing I need to do before we get started, I'm gonna just go ahead and clear that. Is I'm going to <laughs> here it is. Um, for some reason, this is requiring a few more of these. Get rid of that one. There we go. So here it is and. Here's the original. Um, here's the original design. As you can see, you can see all in there, and it's kind of not. It's not very clean looking. This one is solid. It means that there's no moving parts, as far as the actual bullet goes, except for the bullet itself. And by the way, we're gonna have to reduce this in size at some point because if we're gonna put this in an actual gun and have um, have it be moved around in the gun, we're going to have to have a way um, for it not to have to worry about too many moving parts. The only moving parts we should have are this right here. And since we do have this cut away, I am going to go ahead and show it to you. Um, uh, last time I don't think we got to see all of the uh, mass blocks that I had in here. These, though it may be overkill, these are actually only set at um, half, and it's a total of four um, that you would have here, actually. So these are set at 50 instead of the 150 that they normally be at, um, as far as everything. Let me just go in here real quick. Oh, well, these ones aren't. But um, in there they are. They're all set to half, and that way they're not disrupting the other um, bullets that are around them. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired. Let's see if it works. I'm, I'm kind of excited about the whole deal. Um, I think to be able to uh, make this go off, I have to have this at full speed so that it um, will create a detonation. So let's go ahead and get in here. Let's get pulled out a little bit and then let's see here rotor uh, da -da. there we go now when we hit this it's gonna pretty much be instant so let's go ahead and count it down so that we can try to get out of it as fast as uh, it hits so in three two one okay so it, that worked the, oh, the bullet's flying! And lag. <laughs> Just preparing you. Uh, of course, it's going to be a little bit laggy. And that's kind of weird. It's kind of meshing and flipping around. Let's go ahead and look at the damage of that first. And then we'll come back to this. 
So one thing we do notice is that there is not a hole. Well, there's a single hole, but there's uh, there's more down there, I guess. But um, because this was an incendiary round, uh, at least that's what I call it, because it has um, warheads in the tip there, uh, it really isn't packing the same kind of punch. It's doing more damage um, out, out uh, at first, but it doesn't continue through to do it. So in um, the actual final gun, we will actually be using solid solid lead and I actually need to change this color because again another person had told me that this is lead so low reds thank you for the idea let's go ahead and check this thing out first off it looks pretty well intact because it is heavy armor I believe that is the reason and wow wow barely any damage to be honest this would be able to be ejected uh, from uh, the chamber uh, when we pulled the bolt back so I think that's a win I think that's um, the way we're going to definitely go with this is um, using the warhead for the primer so let's go in here I'm going to reverse that rotor reverse there we go so yeah since it's all contained within this this one block area you should be fine just pull that up and throw it out um, the let me go ahead and talk about the gun itself um, I'm, I finally decided what kind of gun I'm going to design it after and that's the shy tech uh, the shy tech seems to have the best looking bolt um, uh, action so that's the way I'm going to go um, if you've never seen it, uh, the best way to probably uh, see it is probably in the movie Shooter. That's the main gun he uses and the one that he's framed with. Um, so anyway guys, this is version 2 and it is a total success. Thank you. Thank you again. I hope you have a great day. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.